back on Bulger's Beat today. Another coronavirus casualty, this one involving cats and kitties. No, say it isn't so. News Force Terry Bulger tells us Nashville's first cat cafe shut its doors for good. It will later this month. The concept was as cool as the cats. Take a break from your difficult day, pay a few bucks, and hang out with a dozen or so cats. Snacks and coffee here, but mostly the stars are the felines. You can learn so much just from observing a cat for a day. Like really, cats are amazing. COVID has no mercy for the cute. The virus forced the closing. The cute now comes in a human way. <laughs> If there were not a pandemic, then we probably would still be able to swing it. Um, if we weren't having a baby in a month, we'd be able to swing it too. So it's, it's a combination. If you're not a cat lover, this is no big deal. But if you wear a tiger on your shirt like Christiana does, it's sad. I don't know if I would say smarter, but I, I, I would say cats seem like wise to me. I think they seem like wise, wise souls. Dignified for sure. Where it isn't curiosity that killed the cat, it's COVID. Our plan for the rest of the year is to just have a baby and figure out what it's like to have two kids for a while. Terry Bulger, News 4, Nashville.